chasing waterfalls No, no, no Keep the faith you have it all slow Hi Julie Julian, Max wants a hug from you. Come on. Give your brother a hug. He's gonna miss you. Oh, say bye. Bye, Julian. <laughs> First day of school. Starting third grade. You look good, bruh. You look real good. So you guys, we're on the road. This is where the drop-off lane starts at. All the way back there as well, because his school used to turn down this road over here. Wait. And we're, we're Emily, 30 minutes early, but this is the first day of school though. We're 30 Emily, minutes you early. That you huh? go that way on that street. Yeah, you go that way on that street, but we way. gotta we gotta get over i know these people are gonna be uh, quite upset with us but it is 8 to 37 school starts at 9 and this is how we looking shoot we're gonna need to start riding a segway or something to school julian it's like mommy what's a segway <laughs> in his little brain <laughs> so like literally like literally traffic was like stopped so we had to park in a subdivision here, an apartment community. On no, on this side it's safer. We had to park um, in an apartment community, and which is like right across the street from the school. So like, I'm not it's the only parent. Park. All the parents like parked in the apartment complex, and now we're walking over to the school to get our kids there That's on That's time. That's the only one, look. Other yeah. people are doing it. Yeah, other people are doing it too, because <laughs> 15 minutes later, y'all, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna get there on time if we would have stayed in the van. This is a good workout though. Maybe we should do this every morning. Mommy could like park right here some mornings when it's not so busy and just walk you over to school. It's a good workout. Okay. Well, Julian got to class. He really didn't need me. I think I was more dramatic than he was. <laughs> Honey, because I was like, are you gonna be okay? He's like, mommy, I know the way to the class. You don't have to walk in there. And I'm like, yes, I do. <sighs> then I didn't want to leave and he just told me to leave so I had to get out of the classroom anyway, so. All right, well, Julian is off to school, mission complete, and I miss him. I think I'm gonna cry. Woo, 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 woo. He just sat like right on down his classroom. He was completely fine. He, they had like a little um, activity, um, what is it, like word cross or whatever. So he did completely fine. <sighs> I tried to say like by like 20 million times, like I had a color purple moment. He was just like shoe fly, like I was a gnat or something. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> okay, I gotta cross this busy street, y'all. Back to my car. <sighs> so. I think I'm later. Let me take off my sunglasses, y'all. Oh, I know. Morning. Morning. Did I say good morning? I didn't say good morning. So, good morning. <sighs> y'all, I'm going to start wearing my workout gear because this has been a testament to how I need to get my body back. Okay? Because this is crazy. This is crazy. This trekking through the forest just to drop myself off at school. <sighs> you know what? Woo! Wait, hold on. Let me make sure ain't nobody in the back of the van because I had to walk. Okay, ain't nobody back there because I'm trying to live. Got kids now. Yeah, I done swept my life away. Like for like for real, for real. Like for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for reals. I done swept my life away, y'all. Okay, look, put back my spectacles on, okay? Put my seatbelts on, and then I gotta get back home to my babies, cause 
since Julian's gone to school, Maxis, Maximus says that he wants to go to school. So he's like, I gotta get ready to go to school at home. You know what, before I pull off, um, you know how I call y'all my family and things? Which is cool, I love family. I think family is here to stay. You know my family, I've made lots of family members. Some who have turned out to be Decepticons, but we're not gonna go there. But lots of wonderful family members. You know, I got a lot of, I, I got a lot of family. I got a lot of cousins, a lot of aunties and things, you know. A lot of uncles and things, you know. But I made a lot of best friends. I think I made a lot of best friends in y'all, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all my besties. Cause that's my best friend, that's my best friend. My best friend Fanna. Oh! Write a comment below. <laughs> All right, let me get back home. So, I had to come to Target because Maximus says he wanted to go to school at home, so I had to go get him a couple of things. I'm gonna try out these LeapFrog um, little activity kits or whatever. They come with three things inside of them, like flashcards, dry erase, little note boards, things, and some other things, child, I don't know, but anyway, I got extra coloring books, whatever. When the child says he wants to learn, he wants to learn, he gonna learn today, and I'm teaching him, okay? Okay, y'all, so I'm, I'm in um, Target, right? I need a place to be able to sit this down at. So I'm in Target, right, and I get to the checkout lane, I feel like I'm not connecting because I got these sunglasses on, but aren't they fabulous besties? Aren't they great? And I get to the checkout, and you know, like normal, you know, you put your things up there. I have a little basket, one of those like, you know, I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of shopping baskets, but I'm in here baskets because I can't carry everything baskets. So I put that on the conveyor belt, zoom. There's an older lady working. She's got silver hair. Okay, and she says to me, and I've had this, I've had this done to me before, and I know, like, when I, I know shade because um, I worked with a lady who used to do this all the time, and I'm like, why does she do that? Like, when you, when you have the basket and you put it on there, you know, because your arm tired as hell from carrying whatever you was carrying around because you thought you didn't need as much as what you needed, but you did need more than what you got, so your arm is heavy, so you put the basket on there, and you're probably planning in your head to take it out, but you just get the thing just zooms on to the front, and before you know it, you haven't taken your groceries or whatever 10 items or less that you got in your basket because that's basically what can only fit in those tiny baskets is like 10 items or less right maybe 20 if you got a whole bunch of top ramen i don't know so i feel like i got something in my mouth what is this the white around your lips valencia this morning like really like what is this going on it's giving it's not giving me life it's giving me oh look digression i be digressing put your shades back on for the love of god Look, my face isn't ready to be greeted, okay? It is not. Where was I? What story am I trying to tell this morning? Okay, so the, the older lady with the silver hair says, I'll just take everything out of your basket and then I'll be right with you. And through my shades, maybe the other cashier on the other side sent the shade. And she walked over and she was like, Becky Martha, Sue Stewart, whoever you are, it's your job to take the items out of the basket this lady want to get into a car accident and i'm gonna witness it lord jesus and like i said i know shade when i feel shade under the shade tree because i know where it grows like that but you know i was like uh-uh i ain't gonna get crunk this morning because i already know what time it is mind you i worked in retail pharmacy you know you get to the pharmacy counter sometimes you got a couple of extra items and people plop their basket on top of the counter and guess what i'm digging in the basket and i'm rigging the items up i'm never gonna tell that person can you please remove all your miscellaneous items including your maxi pads tampons animals and all of that from out of the basket no some people don't want to do that did you ever stop and think maybe everybody don't want everybody in the back of the line to see all their personal items my god what if somebody had a bad case of a a bad lady problem you know what i'm talking about monostat three you know what i'm talking about how embarrassing but that wasn't my issue i was just coming to target just to get some leapfrog okay can i live i'm reaching for the stars okay so the lady tells her you know miss becky martha stewart whoever you are Susie, because she did look kind of like a martha stewart you know just old fresh out of prison but just trying to get her life together you know no tea, no shade, but it was shade. So then the silver hair lady was like, I told you I can't lift anything. And Shaquana Malaysia over here told us some look. I ain't got nothing to do with that. 
you applied for a job at Target and that's one of your job descriptions. And Miss Martha Stewart, Becky Sue, whoever she was, was like, well, I'm just doing the best I can. I'm just doing the best I can. Looking like she was about to have a mental breakdown. I'm like, dog, all over some leapfrogs? You can't reach into the basket and pull out a leapfrog? Girl, my God, this ain't the place for you. I mean, goodness, shoot. I think, I think grandma was just being extra this morning, you know. Maybe she didn't want to be at work this morning. Maybe she didn't get her area all acclimated how she wanted to be done. Or maybe she just didn't want to take the things out of the basket because she gets tired. Everybody coming up in her lane with 20 out of the left. And she got to do extra just by reaching into the basket and wringing it up. I mean, you still going to have to wring it up and put it down into a plastic bag, right? And I watched Miss Martha Stewart, Becky Sue, or whatever her name is, and she put everything in the bag. Ain't what? No. Oh, oh my back, my back. Oh my back. She was just being extra, and the lady called her out on it. Okay, don't get called out, y'all. Please stop doing that. I mean, and I, I can all, I can only say it because I worked in retail, and I I know sometimes it can be annoying. Like how rude! Like who they think they who they think I am? They made or something? I'm they made. They gonna put this big old basket on top of it, and I gotta reach in and everything. Don't they know that's why they got arms? No, that's a part of your job description, boo. Just comes with the trade. Okay. Just take the things out of the mini basket and ring them up. Whether they've picked everything out of the basket and put it onto the conveyor belt, you still gonna have to ring it up. Some people just, some people, you know. Whatever. She just said she was doing the best she could. Doing the best I can this morning. I'm doing the best I can. What's up, Jojo? Brother's over here having a fit. Here, have it, but you're not gonna take the straw out. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, come on, I don't mind. Drink a little bit of prune juice. Getting those bowels right on together. Having healthy bowel movements. Children's a car. Jojo How do you drink car. your prune juice? How do you drink Jojo's your prune juice? Is that how you drink your prune juice, Jojo? Yes. Delicious. Uh-oh. No, no. It all came out. Let me see you color, Jojo. Her color? Her color? Good job. Don't you dare eat that crayon, sir. In color? Oh, somebody's using their left this hand. Is it? Is it Sit down. No, not on my clothes. You color on the on the paper. We back. And this time look who's with us. Maximus. Maximus is with us to pick up his brother from school. Look and at I you. want you doing another. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside Julian's school to get Yes, let's go inside Julian's school. This way, my love. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, we're going to cross the street. We're going to wander through the forest. Look, y'all, this is a car situation. It's on the road, okay? So, like I said, when Julian used to come to school time before y'all, when I was pregnant, I had the twins here. Um, and Julian um, was in school here at the school. So I remember, it's a school, oh cool, but that's not his school bus. So um, I would wait in the lines because you, that's where you have to pick up the kindergartners at, but now that he's in third grade this year, I think I'd have to pick him up wherever he comes out at. But now, I think I need to go inside and ask where. It sure is, baby. He wants to show y'all the playground. Playground. Come over here. So I need to go in and ask where exactly is the third grader going to be coming out at and that's it. I don't know if he knows where he has to go. I don't know where he has to go, but hey, we're going to figure it out because I'm here 10 minutes early. Come on, Maximus. Oh, you don't want to be a cool guy anymore? Okay, cool. All right. Okay. 
Now. <gasps> Look at you. Go to the other one. <gasps> oh, it says crab man with the claws. Go to this one. Oh, bearded lady. What? <laughs> so, Why don't I want to go in there? Oh, you can't go in there. Why? Because you can't. That's a popcorn stand unless you're going to become popcorn. I want to become popcorn. <laughs> I came home to two nasty, poopy, icky diapers. It was nasty. And it smelled so bad. Almost took me out of here, y'all. I had to plead the blood the whole time I was changing the diaper like, Jesus, be shield, Lord, be shield, Lord. Because I love my babies, but they be stinking. Goodness gracious. I feel like I need to get paid for that. I went to Publix, of course, and I got me a sub. And you know when the lady who makes your sub mishears you and she thinks you said you want a whole instead of a half? So now I got a whole sub to eat. But I got a backup plan. See, when the carbs and the fried chicken kick in, check out my backup plan. When I start feeling lethargic and tired and sleuth footed, I'm going to crack open that bad boy and get it popping. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get to cleaning things. Put it back. Thank you. Now we got to fix this so Gigi doesn't know that we even touched it. But, you know, people with OCD know when things have been touched and what goes there. <gasps> you Jojo. I'm telling. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be good. You better believe it. I'm going to be happy. I'm gonna be good, get that understood. I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be good. Get that understood. I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be good. Get that understood. I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be happy.